Fixing to cut the legs. For her bed, yep. platform bed? So what are you making? Hopefully it'll be a successful platform bed. Yeah. For a queen. And what you doing? What you doing right now? Sanding everything <laughs> so I don't get splinters. Yeah. So. And. This side done. Yeah, I got this side done, and I need to do these three. Okay. And then here's her legs. She's got a sand nose, and Donald is working on drawer or doors. She's going to have doors go one on this side and one on that side so she can access everything underneath. So, she's, she's really, really good at wood crafting. And that's because of your stage hand work, huh? Yeah, we had to make the stages all the time, so yeah. we had to learn how to use power tools. Yep, and she likes what she's doing. <laughs> So what you making on this? I'm making Laura. These are the the, uh, the legs. The legs. Yep. Nice. We have stained the outside ebony. And one coat did it. She loves it. This is the uh, bed platform. It fits a queen. And then we got the side panels. All. Where are the other ones, honey? Right We're in the middle of cleaning up because uh, she is cleaning up her room so we can get this in tonight. And we gotta finish up most of it tomorrow, the rest of it tomorrow. But there we go. She's gonna have doors. Um, but this is just the uh, legs and the platform. And then Donna will cut this uh, huge piece of plywood. So that way, uh, that's what uh, her mattress is gonna sit on. So she doesn't have to worry about a box spring. So all in all, it is almost sunset and <laughs> still got a little bit to go. She also made a wardrobe stand and painted it the same color as her bed. I forgot to uh, film it, but she has a dowel up here, a dowel right here, and then it's just held together with the wood. And then here it is underneath. I don't know if you can see it very well. And it's also on wheels. So... That is a really cool idea. And then her bed is coming along great. This is her bed. All, all the storage underneath, which is awesome. We gotta put the doors in. And then over here, oh, sorry. Um, we're gonna put a small shoe rack right here to fill in this space. And then the other door is gonna go right there. But yeah, it's a, uh, coming along really really great and then we're going to be taking this out and this is where her glider cage is going to go and i'll show you that next okay so this is the glider cage uh, for those of you that don't know she has 
sugar gliders. Um, they are nocturnal, so they're not out right now, but I'll probably see if I can get a small video later tonight when they're out and about. But as you can tell, the cage is very tall. It's taller than me. And uh, we're going to be putting that into the closet so that way she can um, have room for them in her room. All right. Remember, these guys are nocturnal. But these are my daughter's sugar gliders. One is named Bart's. The other one is Bat's. Bats is, I believe, this one here. And they are just cute little guys. Hi, guys. They love their wheel. I know it's not the greatest video, but like I said, they're nocturnal, so. Hi, guys. I know I won't keep the light on you that long. It's funny, they'll go around and around the wheel and then they'll hold on to it and then they'll go, they'll do loopy loops in the wheel. <laughs> Rack done or the shoe holder. It's gonna go on the side of the, uh, the dresser. So it'll fill in that gap. She only painted where she needed that's gonna be exposed. This is so that way it'll go up against the um the bed so that way it doesn't get pushed in because she's not going to screw it in that way she can move it in and out if she needs to but it should fit her shoes and then up here she wanted ones that were a little bit taller because she does have doc martens that she uh loves and uh she'll put them up there so but all in all there's her cat cement hi cement what do you think Huh? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Cement. This is Laura's cat, Cement, huh? You like it already? Yeah. <laughs> Foxy, did you figure out how to get up there? Huh, oh, Foxy girl? Huh? Oh, hi, pretty girl. <laughs> what are you going to do, Foxy? <laughs> You can try and turn around. Huh, Foxy? <laughs> she gonna do it. She gonna turn around. You can turn around. Come on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? It's almost your color. Huh, Foxy? All the cats are checking it out. <laughs> what are you doing, Foxy? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Foxy. What are you doing? Silly. Oh, there's Marshmallow. Hi, Marshmallow. Here is the shoe rack. In its little place. So now, all we gotta work on is the side doors. And then she's gonna order herself a queen bed. And uh, she's fixed up a few things and there is the glider cage in its spot. So she's, just got to do some cleaning up and rearranging a little bit more, but we're getting there. All right, step number one done. And you're having how many? Three. Three steps. So Donald's working on step number two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. What? Eight. Sixteen. Yeah, that's right. No, 8, 16, Well, it's a little 32. tall. 32, yeah. It's a little taller because we have that board at the bottom. Yeah, that's true. But there'll be boards on all of them. Yeah, so it's just like that. Uh, Okay. 
quite as wide back there. Okay. I'll be fine. Once you stain it and all that stuff, it'll... It won't be a good big deal because, like you said, this is probably going to be against the bed anyways. All right, there's the steps, guys, and she's we're gonna put on strips. Yeah. So that way she can each box will have a hinge on it. That's a pretty good idea, Laura. Like it. We'll be able to sit under the bed too. Yep. So it'll, you'll be able to hide it away. Well, like if I'm not here and you want to come back and walk around, you can tuck it away. Yep. Okay, so screwed in the base, and then we're going to make another um, top that's going to open and close for each one. There you go. Side view. Okay, so Laura has been out here sanding her steps. We're almost done. Um, we still have to attach these, but this is what it's going to look like for each one. And uh, she's got to stain it now. All right, here's the steps in her room. Uh, she was able to get the hinges on. So each one is its own little cubby. So that way she can store stuff, keep things nice and neat. And then next is going to be the doors. Um, she just put this one here, but we got to mount it and get it set up for her. So we're going to be doing that next. All righty. We got one door on with the handle. It's got a magnetic little lock on it. Keep it shut. All right, guys. And we got the other side on. So same setup. It's got a magnetic lock. She's got the handle. And she is complete. And Laura did an awesome job. Well done. Great job, Sweet Pea.